Hello guys, this is Gila Frenchie, and this is Zena right here, my baby girl. She is 16 months old, and she has had four puppies. Um, Zena gave birth last week, and all of her puppies are now six days old, and she is a French bulldog. Right, mama, she's been doing so good. She's been doing great. Um, she's been a great mother. She had a C-section, and her C-section went well, and so we're here today so we can introduce you to all of her puppies. Right, Zena? Alright, so I'm going to introduce you to Gucci. Alright, Gucci is one of her baby girls, and I want to introduce you to Gucci. Alright, so, this is Gucci. Okay, this is Zena's baby girl, Gucci. Gucci is officially six days old. Tomorrow she will be seven days old. She has the white chest. And until her DNA comes in, we don't know exactly what color she is specifically. However, if you look at her, she has a little bit of stripes in her. So, I am going to say that Miss Gucci here is a blue Brindo. As you can see, she looks very dark bluish. Blue Brindo. They definitely have some chocolate in them because Mama here is chocolate. This is my blue Brindo Frenchie. She is crying right now. They love to be close to Mama when they are only six days old again this is my baby girl Gucci okay next all right this is Gabbana this is Gabbana guys Gabbana is very very beautiful as all of them are but look at that face look at that head on this this little baby guy she is beautiful. Look at that. Right, guys? Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. Yes. And a baby cat. What do you think about her? She I is. think she has her dad's face. Really? Muscular. Wow. Yeah, she is definitely pretty. Look She's at her white chest. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are focusing on feeding them every two hours, of course. They're really, really uh, wiggly. Do you have something to say? Go ahead. For all the viewers, Samaya, say hi. <laughs> um, that's my daughter, Samaya. And then this is my other daughter, Nevea. And these are my helpers with all of Zena's puppies that are six days old. All right, let's go ahead and put Gucci back. Sit down, Mama. Sit down, Zena. Mama over here is very, very, very um, tired. She gets very, really, she gets very hot when she's in the room with the puppies, but we need to keep the heat lamp going because they cannot get cold. And it's summertime right now, so we want to make sure that, you know, they do not get cold with the AC. So we keep them in a room where they are just completely warm okay so this i'm going to show you my boy we have two boys and we have two girls that cry that you hear right there that is a very very healthy cry that is a great cry if they are not crying something is wrong when they are puppies when they are newborns they cry for about 18 to 20 hours a day on average now, of course, you want to make sure that, you know, they're sleeping as well. You want to make sure that they are, look at this. Give it to mama, and she just stops that cry. Look at that. She loves mama. Yes, she loves mama. Okay, so this big guy has a big white chest. Okay? He has a big white chest. 
Big white chest, and he has some brindle on him. This is my blue brindle. Okay, so let's go ahead and check while we're here to see if he needs to be stimulated. This is how mama stimulates the puppies. They were just fed, so we're going to go ahead and stimulate him again because he may need to pee. He is doing great. He loves when mama does this. As you can see, he stopped crying, and he is being stimulated. He is currently peeing right now. So if they're crying, either they're, they need to pee, they're constipated, or they want to be fed. If all that has been done, then more than likely they're just crying. Expect your newborn puppies to cry for at least, again, 18 to 20 hours a day on average. I can say... For at least, I can say that they definitely do not cry 18 to 20 hours a day. But this is how big he is. Good girl, Zena. All right. So, I want to introduce you guys to my other boy. His name is Taz. All right. So. I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to Tash. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Tash. Okay. Okay, Tash. Okay. Okay. One moment. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you, guys, introduce you guys over to Tash. Now, Tash, to me, this little boy is just so big he is one of the ones in the litter who loves to eat all of the food he eats a lot which is a great sign um you know however when they're eating such a lot you want to make sure that they are being stimulated you want to make sure that they're pooping and peeing so that they do not get constipated you want to make sure all of that is on track and going all right so this everybody is Tash. Tash is my lilac boy. Look at that head. He is amazing. He is going to be a little ham. He's already a ham. He's very, very, very chunky. You know that they're full when their stomachs are this big and they're only six days old. It's okay. Again, this is Cash, everybody. This is my lilac. He has the white chest. And he has some, a lot of lilac in him, as you can see. So, this boy is fantastic. Look at that cry. That cry is beautiful. That cry is a healthy baby cry. Very healthy baby cry. He has great paws on him. Look at those paws. His eyes, all of their eyes are going to be closed for about two weeks, guys. Um, they don't open their eyes until about two weeks. That's a healthy tail. You don't really see too many, you don't see a tail on French Bulldogs. However, they have like a little bit of a little hair right here sticking out like a little, little, not even a corkscrew for some, but for some it's like a corkscrew. For mine, they're very, very short and stubby, so you can't really see it. Again, everybody, this is Tash. Oh, Tash, you do not like the light. Look at that. This is a lilac. I definitely know what color he is. He came out very bright and ready, so I have no doubt in my mind that he is a lilac. Okay, so we are waiting on the DNA to come in for him, but he is a lilac. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys. So, that is my Frenchies here at G Lake Frenchie. Um, all of these pups are going to be weighed and fed. So, I will have more videos coming soon on how to weigh and feed the puppy as we go. Mama gets very hot, so she does not want to be in the room. Um, it's really important to make sure that you, the mama does not overheat and if you are keeping her in the room where you are keeping your well when you're doing your whelping and you're keeping them all together 
um, in the room together, you want to make sure that the mom has water on the side so that she's not too dehydrated and not too hot. Um, because you do want the mom to bond with the Frenchies and the puppies within, you know, the first few weeks so that she's attached to her puppies. You don't want to keep them separated for too long. But if you're keeping them together, I would definitely advise to, uh, give me a calm one. I would definitely advise to, if you are keeping the Frenchies all together in the room, I would definitely just advise to supervise the puppies as they are still very small and very fragile. So supervising them is very important just to make sure that mama doesn't um, step on them or anything of that nature. She is just beautiful. This is, she is very, very little. And again, that is a healthy cry. That is a healthy cry. And she is just very beautiful. Look at that head she has on her. She's going to have a nice, stocky, fancy head. And she just figured that's what you want. Okay. Okay, guys. So, go ahead and drop those comments below. I want to hear any questions that you have. I want any feedback that you may have. Any, anything of that nature. But again, these are all of my babies. Look at these Frenchies. They are beautiful. Go ahead, guys, and drop those comments. Again, this is Do Like Frenchies. Goodbye, girls. And also, like and subscribe.